Nigerians be fooled, P2B and Labour Party are not trustworthy. Ex-presidential aspirant Mr. Olua Dari Faduri want. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The leader of the Rescue Nigeria Movement, Mr. Olua Dari Faduri, who forcefully stepped down for Labour Party's presidential candidate P2B during their party's primary election in May 2022 has revealed to Nigerians the reasons they should not vote the party and its candidate at the coming general elections. Fadiri said this while addressing newsmen in Abuja today to the 13th, 13th October 2022. In his words, he claimed that a leader who cannot be fair with one man can never be fair to over 200 million Nigerians. According to him, I struggled to get to this point in my political career. I got into a presidential race in Nigeria to fight for the common people of my country, the forgotten youths of Nigeria, to rescue a nation that has everything but lack everything. A nation where its political leaders are less untrustworthy, the leaders who only cares about themselves and never put the country first. A nation where insecurity ravaged from the north with Boko Haram down to the south with unknown gunmen to instances kidnapping, epileptic electricity, dying currency. A nation where its youth and workforce sees hope in running to other nations of the world but not their own nation. A nation where its citizens are no longer patriotic because of the lavishing and uncaring nature of its leaders whom do not have sympathy for human life and dignity. All those brought me to sit down and ask God to use me to lead a team that can rescue our dear nation so as to excuse some of those old generational leaders, many of them who have been in the corridors of power for decades with nothing tangible to show for it except the overblown and propagated achievements they kept themselves, otherwise they used the media to project to the world. I came into the political atmosphere, charged it up doing the impossible by so many people to see how we can rescue a nation that is nearing the verge of extinction. A nation that moves from all boom to all doom. A nation that moved from surplus to famine, from love to hatred. A nation that was once peaceful but now volatile, violent and dangerous. A nation that was once safe to the one that we can no longer sleep with our two eyes closed. A nation that was once the giant of Africa to a nation crawling to find its feet again. I brought together the best of Nigeria. I brought the, both the good, the bad and the ugly of Nigeria together because everyone has a role to play for a new Nigeria. We wake up the sleeping giant, Labour Party, as we continue the campaign, and whilst, and whilst all hope was set in the picking the presidential ticket of Labour Party, the disgruntled, selfish, greedy and self-centered party, party leaders chose to sell the soul of a party for days to primary to Mr. Peter B, which angers him as the left the party then. But I remain resolute because I thought the party was my baby and Ty Rafik rapped on the day of primary as I was forced to step down for a kangaroo candidate. They broke every law of selecting leader. They broke the law of process and decision lives and aspiration of many Nigerians who have been following me. The 8.3 million and counting who on daily basis joining our campaign before May 30th, 2022 in Asaba when they stole the ticket away from me. I fought my followers in Asaba but after a deep and dangerous tension, and for security reasons, we decided to drop the fight. And for the sake of our love, of the love of our nation, to let peace reign. Since I am not a desperate young man like many of our politicians today. After the disappointing incident that the party negotiated on behalf of Mr. Peter B. To upset all bills and expenses as agreed by Labour Party Chairman, Barrister Aburi and his officials. I was looking forward to seeing the hand thrown out by Mr. Peter B. To bring closure to the pains in my heart. And in the midst of my followers to incorporate my team and self to the party proper so that we can together fight to win, but up to now the reverse has been the case. Modernization has been the slogan of Mr. P2B and his campaign heads. The party and mostly Mr. P2B as to the contrary alienated and proposed to silence myself and my team from a party that was our baby. A party that was long sleeping, which I woke up along with my team. I made the third first long before P2B came in on a jacket. Immediately after the primary, I sat down to ruminate policies in Nigeria and how dirty it looked in the last few hours and how greed, 
selfishness to take the forefront of parties and leaders in our nation. But I calmed my team down to let us bury the hatchet. Take the loss and see how we can work with Obi to form a new Nigeria. I want him to give him the opportunity to prove himself as a leader who can unite not just the party, but a grieved aspirant like me who was forced to step down for him. I need a closure, especially with all my followers, friends around the world, who believe so much in me but so without understanding the war of how I step down. Rather than Obi to provide leadership, prove to be a fair, sincere and trustable leader, all he has done in the last five months is the opposite. I struggled with myself. If I will keep quiet with this injustice and also do not let Nigerian people who are believing so much in this, in his candidacy, not to say the truth about the man they are about to vote for. We all crucify. We all crucify the other candidates and think Mr. P2B will bring a new Nigeria. But as a presidential aspirant and member of the Liberal Party, which I'm still in and not out no out, do not see the, the quality, and all I am doing right now is to bring it open to the public. Since Mr. President do not, Mr. President to be cannot handle it behind closed doors. Let me correct one thing. I try to means humanly possible as a young man with my little, little self to see how to resolve these issues without escalating to this point. So many good people, good friends, even my evil brothers intervened. So many renowned political leaders in Nigeria stepped in to see if they can bring P2B to see the need to work things. Out with me and my team. In fact, I came to the U.S. to st help start the campaign and movement for election of P2B as next president of Nigeria. But to my surprise, with the calling and deceptive nature of Mr. P2B, he came to the U.S. and Canada and bypassed and ignored the good work the good people and the organization had been doing and avoid all what good people of Nigeria have been rooting for him. A big disappointment. I do not expect in a leader I would trust. At this juncture, I would like to let you know the case the Labour Party is in court. As we speak, I will not I will fight not just for myself, but fighting for fairness, trustworthiness and sincerity in leadership. I do not believe in fighting a risk card, so this is not a fight because of ethnicity or religion, but a fight for the right thing and show the world the other side of a candidate that's supposed to be a leader but has not shown one. A nation like Nigeria needs a sincere, fair, just, compassionate, mature leadership at this stage in our country, which does not necessarily mean it will come by age or ethnicity. I will continue to be a watchdog to checkmate my party and its candidates and take issues with them when necessary and any other person or government in Nigeria until we say the right thing for our Nigerian people. <laughs> Nigerians have suffered enough. I'm just hearing this, so I need a, I need to process all this. Uh, I need to process all this, if this is true. I don't want to believe it's not true, because for somebody to come out and draft something like this, I'm all, well, let's hear the, the other side of a story from Obi's team. Let's see what they're going to reply to. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for tuning in to listen.